Jesus Christ be praised. I see there's not much going on around here. So you've stayed here on your own? Quite so. All by myself. All the others were either killed by the humans or fled to Rate. I'm sorry to hear that. And what's keeping you here, alone? My older brother ran away with the wandering players. So when our father was on his deathbed, he made me swear I'd never leave our home. I can see you took your vow seriously. I did. And it's starting to get dangerous around here. Again. The Cumans. If it were Cumans, I'd grab an axe and that would be that. But a week back, some rabble made their way through here. They begged me for food, and mark my words, they weren't taking no for an answer. If they'd been just a tad under it, I swear they would have stormed the cottage. There are gangs like that around, true enough. I saw the mess they left behind. Savages. It was horrible. People tried to find shelter in the church, but them dogs was waiting. They knew too well that's where folk would try to hide. And where did you hide? By the grace of God, I got my family away into the woods. And I don't see your family with you. I hope those bastards didn't sniff them out. No, no. It takes better man than them to track me down. I sent my wife to Rate with some others. Do you think folk will ever go back to their homes? Well, I don't know about Scallet, but the folk here are sure to want to come back. The only thing they're missing is spiritual support. Do you mean the priest? Indeed. When the land's at war, noblemen fight to protect their property. But simple folk want someone to tend their souls. Of course. But it was the Scallet's parish priest who ministered here, wasn't it? He did. But there's been no sign of him since the attack. Or at least he's definitely not in Rate among the refugees. That's true enough. I didn't see him there. But if you're interested, young fella, maybe you could help us find the priest we need here. I can always ask. But I've really got no idea where to start. I can help with that. A few years ago, there used to be another priest in Scalitz. Simon, I think his name was. Simon? Father Simon, I remember him. That's the one who went missing, right? Aye. I don't want to spread rumours, but they say he was in love with his housekeeper. And then she died somehow, poor thing. Sodom and Gomorrah. Clerics today. They're men, just like the rest of us, with man's passions. Well, to finish the story, Simon left the parish and ran away. You know that already. There was neither sight nor sound of him for a long time, until this spring he showed up here. And what's he doing here? That's just it. People say he's become a hermit. All right. And where can I find him? I couldn't tell you exactly, but you could start by talking to that girl's parents. Well, they live on a farm nearby, and it's likely they know more. They may even have had words with him. I'll go and see what they have to say for themselves. God go with you, lad. And I pray you find him. If some heathen stabs me in my sleep, I'd rather have a decent burial. Don't worry. I'll bring someone. God be with you. Greetings, Henry. It may sound strange, but I'm looking for Simon, the priest. Father Simon? I last saw him when he was paying me damages. That was back when Mary was still with us. If you want to know something, ask the God wife. I don't have the time or the will to talk about that man. I understand. Thank you. I'm looking for the priest, Father Simon, and I heard you might know of him. Simon? What do you want him for? 
I'm looking for the priest who used to take care of St. James, and the locals tell me they saw him around here. I don't know if I can help you there. He'll never go back to his parish if you ask me. Very well. What is it you want to know? What went on between Simon and your daughter? Nothing that hasn't happened before. Our Mary was his housemaid in Scalitz. She was pretty, very pretty. And he was young, and so things went the way they do between comely young folk. She came back home one day, heavy with child. That must have been quite a scandal. My husband was furious. He ran around the cottage brandishing an axe and yelling that he'd kill him. The neighbours wagged their tongues a bit, but in the end I was happy the girl was taken care of. The priest was generous with his compensation. Only she never had the chance to hold that babe in her arms. She didn't live through the birth. I'm very sorry. Such is a woman's lot in life. Men die in battle and women in the arms of the midwife. And what happened to Simon? The poor man. He took it the worst. He was sure God's wrath smote Mary for her fornication. The Bible does say it's a terrible sin. Well, I'm not fit to judge, and the ways of the Lord are strange. He was overflowing with grief. He barely spoke, didn't eat, refused to take a new housemaid. And then, one fine day, the presbytery was deserted. It took a good season before another priest came along. Where can I find him? He's said to be wandering around here somewhere. I heard that too, and I'm inclined to believe it, even though I haven't seen him myself. How come? After our poor Mary went to her rest, we used some of the money he'd paid us to put a cross up by the roadside. And lately, there's been wreaths of comfrey turning up next to it. I don't take them there, nor my husband neither. You think Simon does? Who knows? Maybe it's a miracle. I could believe anything. But there's not been fresh ones for a while, so perhaps he's moved on elsewhere again. I see. Can you tell me where that cross is? Certainly. There are settling tanks for the mines to the west of Scalitz. On the hill above them in the woods, there are several paths. Mary's cross is by one of them, close to the brook. All right. Thanks. I'll be going. Very good, then. And if you do find him, let him know that we have no hard feelings. I'll tell him. Hey, you! What are you doing here? I was just passing and I heard voices, so I've come to see what's going on. Nothing that's any of your business. Get lost! Very well, then. You're back again? I thought we'd made things clear. I've come for the priest. Simon. There's no one here called that. There is. Do you take me for a fool? All right. Maybe there is someone here. What of it? We're not going anywhere. I don't know. Imprisoning a warlock can be a dreadful mistake. What are you on about? Didn't you say he was a priest? He is, but he's also a warlock, a master of the dark arts. Do you think normal priests go hiding in the woods? No, but... Exactly. So if you don't want your eyes to boil up from the inside, your nose to turn into a twisted root, and your tongue into a toad, you'd better start to run. Now! No, of course. No, we don't want that. We're very sorry, but if you'd like to leave... No ifs, no buts. 
clear out of here. Fine, fine. Just take it easy now. Oh, thank you, my son. I was beginning to fear I'd never get out of here alive. Times are hard when brigands round the land and attack the defenseless. But they didn't attack me. I saw them raiding birds' nests down by the path, so I took pity on them. Which makes what they did all the more loathsome. That's no way to repay a good Christian's hospitality. And to whom do I owe my salvation? My name's Henry. You may remember me. I'm the son of the Scalitz blacksmith. Your face does seem familiar. But listen, Henry, I can't help feeling you didn't stumble across me by accident. It's true. I've come to ask a favor of you. Me? What on earth could I do for you? I need you to go back to St. James. The folk there need spiritual guidance. Scalitz has a burned-out shell, and many have died in St. James. They need a priest. Any priest. I understand, but I have to disappoint you. I gave up my calling. Instead, I've given myself over to repentance. The people need you. Please understand that. I understand, but they need a better priest than I. Do you have any idea what's going on around you? There is war, Father. War! People are dying. They slaughtered folk in St. James who sought sanctuary in the church. I'm not blind. I do know what's happened. And yet you want me to go back and tell them that the only person, far and wide, who could serve as their priest, turned them down? You lay a great burden on me, Henry. I know that, but the people do need you. Oh, you're probably right. It is my duty. At least for a time. Until they find someone better. I don't think I'll find anyone better in a hurry. All right. I'll take what I can carry and go back to St. James. Thank you. Your parishioners will be very grateful. I'll be with you. I found you a priest. Really? <laughs> That's wonderful news. Who is he? The former parish priest of St. James. I persuaded him to return to live among you, at least for a while. So you found him? Yes. He was roaming the woods around here. Thank God. You'll see. Once there's a priest, people will soon be back. I hope so. I've put together a small sum uh, for a new piece, so I thought uh, a portion should definitely go to you, as a reward. I couldn't possibly take it. You'll need the money to rebuild the village. As you wish, then. I shan't weigh you down with it. So, farewell to you, and I hope he gets here soon. Just that you let him run off again. I'll keep an eye on him myself. Godspeed to you, Henry. And thank you for your help. <laughs> 